Greetings, fellow children of the playground. I'm sure that you all know why we've gathered here today. Uh, I'm not so sure that I do. Oh, brother, we've gathered here to prove ourselves. We demand justice. Oh, right. Wait a second, hold up. I thought we were here to conquer the world's biggest game of what time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ella, that's next week. What part of justice don't you understand? Uh, sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to recap. Wednesday at recess, I overheard the fourth graders making fun of little Bobby. They claim that the Tooth Fairy isn't real. What is this foolery? That's my point exactly. They think that we first graders are a bunch of lowlife hooligans. We ain't no Hollyogans. It's hooligans, but you're right. We're here to prove everybody wrong. We're gonna show them that the Tooth Fairy is in fact real. But how do you expect us to do that? They wouldn't believe us in a million years. Oh, they'll believe us all right. How, you may ask? Well, that's because we're going to kidnap the Tooth Fairy. What? Why would we do that? Are you crazy? How? I know that you think I'm crazy, but hear me out. We lure the Tooth Fairy into a specially designed booby trap and hold her captive just long enough to get to the fourth grade soccer game. The whole class is going to be there. What exactly are we supposed to lure her in with? That I'm not sure about yet. Well, she is the Tooth Fairy. Why don't we try toothpaste and toothbrushes? Rosie, you're an absolute genius! Who's willing to go back to their house to get their toothpaste and toothbrush? We need to sacrifice it. I will! Me too! The rest of you, help me out! We've got to get planning this trap fast. I have to be home by dinner. Okay, everyone, that should do it. But there's a slight drawback. What if she escapes? What if somebody sets her free or finds her first and takes the credit? Aw, oh, fiddlesticks. Hmm, this is some serious business, so it calls for some serious measures. Maybe I can sneak out tonight, hide her in my room until the game tomorrow, and then bring her back here. That's perfect. You're a lifesaver, Bill. Uh, I'm sorry, but I think I should go home now. When do we have to meet up here tomorrow? Be here at 9 a.m. sharp. The game starts at 9.30. Okie doke. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, everyone. I hate to say it, but I have to go now, too. I can't be late. We're having spaghetti. Great work today, and arrive on time tomorrow. Don't let me down! <gasps> oh my gosh! Is that toothpaste? I have to get some. <gasps> hey, you let me out! It worked! It worked! Oh, so you're the fool behind this? Oh, it wasn't all me. Bubbles had the idea. Why are you doing this? And wh what is this trap made out of? Isn't the reason obvious? Justice! And the materials are... <laughs> they're secret. Magic proof. Oh! Don't worry, you'll understand why we're doing this tomorrow. For now, you're coming to my house. You've gotta go home quick before mom finds out.
No way! It worked! You children are foul. Gosh, you're so ungrateful. This is all for your benefit. Besides, I don't see what's so foul about a little bit of justice. You children and your justice! What on earth are you on about? Good job, everyone. All of our hard work paid off. Look! We did it! Ah! Wow! Goodness, never in my life have I met children so horrible. Well, I suppose that I've never met any non-fairy children, but never did I expect normal children to be so horrible. Just ignore her, everyone. She'll thank us later. Let's make our way to the game. Okay, get ready everyone. This is our moment. Attention fourth graders. My name is Bubbles and we're here to prove ourselves. All of us first graders. We're here because we demand justice. Justice for little Bobby and justice for the one, the only. <sighs> Tooth Fairy. Oh, there's nobody there. You cannot be serious. 